Cell culture part three, cryopreservation. Firstly, the spent cell culture media is removed from the flask and discarded into a waste container. Cells are washed with DPBS. Approximately 5 mil per 25 centimeter squared culture surface area of DPBS is added to each culture flask from the side of the flask opposite the attached cell layer. Consequently, the layer of the attached cell's surface is washed with DPBS by rocking the flask side to side. DPBS is removed and discarded. Special care should be taken not to disturb the cell layer at the bottom. The next step is to trypsinize the cells. Approximately 2 mil per 25 centimeter squared culture surface area of pre-warmed trypsin is placed in each flask in order to detach the cell layer from the bottom of the cell culture flask. The flasks are then placed in the 37 degrees incubator for approximately 5 minutes. The detached cells from each of the flasks are removed and transferred into two tubes. The remaining content of both flasks is washed with 4 mil of complete growth media. This is in order to collect the rest of the cells. The media is then transferred into the tube. In order to pellet the cells at the bottom, the tubes are centrifuged at 150 G for 5 minutes. The supernatant is carefully removed. Special care should be taken not to disturb the cell pellet at the bottom. The remaining cell pellet is resuspended with 0.5 mil of complete growth media. The resuspended cells in 0.5 mil of growth media are transferred into cryovials. Zero point five mil of freeze mix is added to each cryovial. The 
the cryovials are ready for the freezing process. The freezing process starts from when the cryovials are placed in the minus 20 freezer overnight. Subsequently, the cryovials are placed in the minus 80 freezer overnight. Finally, the cryovials may be placed in liquid nitrogen where they can be stored for an indefinite period.